If you're looking for cheap games, Xbox Live or PSN codes, please check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.13.0 mod showcase. Today for you in this video, we have pretty much a too many items mod, but this is an app and this is not done with Block Launcher. Block Launcher is updated to 0.13.0, but it's not mod supported. It will be supported on the official release of 0.13. And if you watched my earlier video, 0.13.0 Beta Build 5, which I'm on, is going to be the last build. So what is this I'm going to be showing you? It's called MCP Master. I have done a video in the past. Many of you do know what it is. But if you don't, you're in for something pretty exciting. So the first thing you're gonna have to do, if you haven't downloaded it or you haven't updated it, you need to go to the Play Store. Now in the Play Store, you're simply searching for MCPE and then Space Master. It will be the top one and the first one. It's very popular. It's just a pickaxe with a green background. And if you click on this, it will either ask you to update or open depending on what version you're using. Now, as you guys can see here, this is more than just for mods. You can see the top, we've got the basic modifications. And on the right hand side, we've got the floating window. Now if the floating window is off for you, ensure that you turn it on. It's important that you turn it on because it means that you can change things in game. If you don't, you have to back out and start again. Now in the basic modifications, it will show you your current world that you've used last. For example, mine was just my world. You can replace it by changing whatever world you want, that's up to you. If you have a specific world that you wanna change, that is fully down to you. And you've also got game, survival, creative, day, night, fly, etc. but you can change all that in game. Again, it's more than just mods because it actually has maps. All these maps are updated for 0 0.13 as well. Things such as redstone maps, TNT run, things like that, which are pretty awesome. So you can check out maps to download. You've got skins. If you're looking for a brand new skin, the top one is a derpy YouTuber. The next one is textures. There's only one texture at this current point, so I do expect it to be updated, um, and I expect more textures to be updated for 0 0.13. And then last but not least, you've got seeds, and you can see at the top, that seed is a desert temple. So yeah, you've got lots of updated seeds, which I think is awesome. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, show you what to do, oh yeah, before we do, you've actually got import, so you can import other things as well. Now on the bottom of the screen, you can see we have a controller. Click on the controller and this will open Minecraft Pocket Edition, whatever version you're using. You can also see here that I have the actual app itself. So you can move this wherever you want. I normally move it to the top left or behind me where you guys can't see. Um, and if I click on play, I'm simply going to go to my world as a test. It was survival. I'm actually going to remove the face cam. But guys, just so you can see what's going on in this app. So if I click on the app itself, you can see here, I'm gonna to go to creative. In fact, I died. I'm gonna go into creative um, so I don't get killed. But you can see we've got mod P on the left. You've got enchant, item, mob, my pack, teleport, screenshots, which you can take. If I want to take a screenshot, I just hit this. Screenshot is taken and now saving. It will save to your pictures. So in mod PE, this is the main important thing. So you've got day and night. The day and night cycle for specific maps is up to you. You've got survival creative, you've got rain on if you want, which is strong, or you can have it on light and you can turn it off. You've got lightning on, which is weak, and you've got lightning on strong. So if you're trying to get a charged creeper, you can definitely mess around with the lightning. But again, I don't want to mess around with that too much. You've also got your levels. You can see uh, at the bottom here, we've got levels. So I'm going to go into survival. As you guys can see at the bottom, my levels are changing. I'm just gonna keep it on 2000. It's good for enchanting, especially if you're testing. You've got fly on and off, invincibility on and off. That's up to you. So moving down, we've got the enchant. So specifically, you can select any item that you want to pretty much enchant that's available in here. Um, so say we wanted to do an iron sword, we wanted to have infinite levels. You guys can see we maxed out everything. We can add this. In the middle of my screen, it will tell you that it's added it. So if I back out, I have the infinite sword, which is pretty strong, pretty powerful, and it's just gonna cause a lot of damage. So let's try and test this real quick, because let's just see if there's any animals. There's no animals, but yeah, this is just a basic test to show you guys. So if I click on the app again, you've also got items, which are your items. You've got 0 0.12, 0 0.0, which are the potions. You've got some of the new additions as well. You've got potions here. You've got cube, ore, tools, food, crops, eggs, which are spawn eggs. I don't know if 
I don't know if they've added the rabbit one. That is something I'm looking for to see if they have. Um, I can't see any so far. But it has been updated. I'm pretty sure they will add rabbits as well. We've got my pack. We've got teleport, which you can add. So say I wanted to add this as my position, teleport one. All right. Then I went away over here somewhere. You can teleport back. Let's run a little bit. So open the menu, go to teleport, click teleport one, it would teleport you back. So overall, I think it's an impressive thing. It's just something to mess around with. I it would have been great if they added the, the new animals and stuff. I can't really see them. I guess this could probably just be me. But either way, it's been updated for 0.13 because previously it wasn't working great at all. It's even got some of the things that have been removed and that's like the stone cutter and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully you guys did enjoy something a little different today. If you did, as always, be sure to thumbs it up. Download it is in the description or search for it on the Play Store. I've been Echo. Have a great day. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.